Facebook, some other day. It's fine. Okay, fine. All right. Yeah, very good evening and welcome to an other edition of French Talk. We have uh, <laughs> in the 15th session now. And as you have said, we started in a very small way during this pandemic. And uh, it's my intention to use this time in a very product productive manner and surround mm -hmm. ourselves with successful people who can possibly teach us new things. So it is really, uh, an intention to get in the right kind of people, game changers who can bring in a lot of insights and knowledge and uh, skill builders or teach us something uh, during their interaction. So in the end of our this is the 15th talk, and we have a game changer in front of us. In fact, uh, this week has been pretty sporting in the sense that there have been a lot of people connected with sports in a way. I mean, we had a sports commentator and somebody who's uh, been a uh, chess brand. Mm. And we have a tennis player now. So, uh, let me give it to Mika. She is going to talk about her tennis journey and how uh, it has helped us in the well being in the terms of mind, body, and spirit. So, it's going to be Mika. You can begin. Hi. Hi. I'm Mika and I'm a, Bom I'm a Mumbai girl. Um, I trained solely in India and I compete at the mm -hmm. professional mm -hmm. international tennis circuit. My journey so far has been, my tennis journey so far has been very rewarding. I've been fortunate enough to play all four junior grand slams, to have rubbed shoulders with and to have interacted with the greats of our sport like Roger Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, Serena Williams, Maria Sharapova. Um, and I feel to, to have your name on the scoreboard um, with the Indian flag at a Grand Slam, it's a priceless feeling and um, I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. And um, um, I'm sorry, I'm boasting. I don't want to sound like I'm boasting so much, but I'm just sh sharing some of my cherished memories. Um, so I've also been a national champion, um, an Asian junior champion, and I've played for India. So I feel having your name printed on an in, uh, on the Indian jersey and to have played and to have won for the country is like the pinnacle for a sports person. And um, I feel very grateful um, for sport for being able to have done so. I want to thank, uh, thank you, Krishna, sir, and um, thank you, Trends Talk, for giving me this uh, platform to share my um, tennis journey. But I want to say that um, I'm no one to give anyone any advice. Uh, but um, I'm sure a lot of sports, sports people, a lot of tennis players have um, faced similar challenges, similar um, difficulties as I have faced and probably have the same questions, the same doubts. So if I can, my experiences can help even a few in any aspect of the sport or, um, you know, if I can help clear a few doubts, you know, it would be great. Is there anything you want to ask me? You know, you can feel your voice, your, your, your voice. I can't hear. You're, you're muted. I was asking you how do your journey begin? If you can start from the I can't hear you. Yeah, if you can tell me how you started. How did you start? Oh, how did I? Oh, how did I start? So, um, as a little kid, I, I was like full of energy, full of life. Um, for, um, and I was very restless. I hated the indoors. I loved being outdoors. So, um. Tennis was a sport where I could, you know, productively channelize all that energy that I had pent up in me. I um, picked up a racket, I enjoyed 
every minute on a tennis court and i enjoy i just enjoy whacking the balls and uh, i have that there has been no looking back ever since so along with tennis i did play a lot of other sports initially i was i used to swim um until up until they made tennis courts in the in the same academy in the same club and um, i just started enjoying tennis so much that i took to it eventually um then of course once you start um for it for of course of course it was just leisure but then you know you climb up the ranks you go from state level to national level and now international but something that drew me to competing um uh, in the sport would be you know the novelty of it no two days in the office are the same uh every day is a new challenge every day you play a new player uh, who's completely different from the previous so i completely enjoy this i totally enjoy the challenge you know i always wonder when it comes to making a career choice uh people always opt for the safe option you know everybody wants to become a lawyer everybody wants to become an engineer a doctor but why do few people make that choice to take up a sport as a profession and i feel it's really sad to see because sports it it toughens you um, to deal with any adversity that life throws at you um it um I feel sports people are the toughest people, not only physically but also mentally. Like um, a sport like tennis, especially in today's day and time, where times are so trying, so pressure-filled. You know, at least for me, a sport like tennis is like a big stress buster. I can just pick up a racket, go on court, and you know, hitting a few balls even for an hour does wonders. So you know, I just wish that you know, I see more people. No, it's not tennis than any other sport for that matter. You know, people getting actively involved in sport. So, do you do what company you while you play the game? Huh? Again, I can't hear yeah. you. Yeah. Who would accompany you while you play the game? Uh, you said there are friends to to join you. You are not. You are not audible. Okay. Anyone else who wants to probably talk? Talk, talk without the head. Talk. Talk without the earphones. No. No, without the earphones. Yeah, no. Better sounding, no. Ha. Huh, better. Better. No? Hmm. So, why is this asking you? Or, uh, how did you actually venture out? Uh, is it a friend? Uh, just to ensure that you can have the best of time, you can enjoy the sport, and then uh, probably dabble into different sports and see how it works for you. Oh God, this is like a oh guy can't hear you. <laughs> Again, your voice is cracking. Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. This is my. Hi. So I just wanted to ask a question. Huh. Uh, so was there any best moment of yours on the tennis court or something, or the worst moment? Would you like to share? My worst moment. Or the best um, moment. Um, I think the worst part of of the sport of any sport is an injury, okay. and having to sit out and not play the sport that you. So then, at least I so deeply love. So I remember I was playing um, my first junior Grand Slam. It was the U.S. Open qualifying, and I was winning that match. And um, I was one set to love up, and I had, in the second set I had to run for a drop shot. And as I was about to reach that ball, I had a complete ankle twist. It was a so terrible twist, like. My whole ankle, like three sixty, it was a three sixty degree twist, and I was I was down on the floor in pain, and I knew at that minute that I won't be able to get up and I won't be able to play. So, um, you know, having to forfeit 
the, that match i i was so excited to play my first grand slam and you know i i was i was i knew that i would if if it weren't for the twist i'd probably win that match so having to forfeit it, it was it was a terrible feeling and after that i sat out for seven uh, like no okay not seven yeah six months i couldn't play like properly yes. i couldn't compete so i think and i and then i i had that fear like i didn't know whether i would probably get another chance again to play a slam so i guess at that time that was like probably the worst thing to happen to me on a tennis court right and the good part about it what 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 the good part the best moments of your tennis court oh the best moments the best moments i feel of course as i said in priceless moments to uh, i I've, i've been fortunate enough i did get a chance after that i played all four grand slam not just us open i ended up playing all four and um i played for I, and of course playing for india what for right. me uh for a sports person that's everything you know playing and winning for the country there's nothing that uh, that succeeds that so yeah that would be my best those would be my best moments on court okay well, thank you see he's so audible why can't why aren't you audible no i'm i'm audible now ha ah, now you're better better not 100% okay So, talk to us about your journey. Talk to us about your journey. Okay. Um. So you know this sport. It's not like a regular this profession for that matter. It's not a regular. It's not like a regular profession. You know, there is first of all, success is never immediate, and you cannot win every single day. So, so it's a it's a journey of ups and downs. it's like a roller coaster you know and um, i've had my share of ups i've had my share of downs i've had some really terrible losses but um, you know that's where a good support system comes in so i've been fortunate to have very supportive parents not only very supportive parents but a very supportive coach who always motivated me and encouraged me even after i've lost from, from match point even after my was loss he never discouraged me from playing so um i would like to say that it's not completely a journey of be- uh, you know it's not a bed of roses it has a lot of hard work there's a lot of discipline there's a lot of sacrifice not only from the player but from you know the entire support system from the parents from the coach but you know inspired all of that there is that there is that writer side i mean I've got I've from I, as I said I rose the ranks at the state level and I went went on to play national level and then now international level I don't think any profession gives you that opportunity to see so much of the world to experience so much of it in such a short span of time uh, such a short span of time like um I've 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 had the opportunity to play in some of the best countries in the world. to meet people, to play doubles with you know sometimes you are the only indian playing these tournaments so then you go play that you end up playing doubles with uh, people who are from other countries you end up making friends from other countries um experiencing different cultures so um it's 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 been uh, as i said it that i i have no regrets it's been a, my journey has been amazing so far even though i've had my share of you know ups and downs okay so uh, tell me how do you handle failures or rejection how i work me how do you handle failures or rejection oh how do i handle failures um see firstly i it comes with the accept first the first step is acceptance as i said um it's part of the sport it's part of any sport success and failure you know they go hand in hand so if you want if you want to deal with the victories you have to also deal with the losses every you can't win every single match and um you know it's tough it's i'm not saying it's easy it's, it's heartbreaking sometimes you spend so many months preparing for that one tournament and um, things don't work out but that's where as i said earlier a good support system comes in 
you know you i cannot emphasize on the importance of um you know support it not only support it not only a support a family but a support a coach you know who tells you to who at least i have been fortunate to have a coach not just a coach i have been for blessed to have coaches who always motivated me and encouraged me uh you know and told me to put things behind after a bad loss and move forward it's not easy at all to snap out of a bad loss but that's why when i go play tournaments i um do not you know people say you should be independent and you know being independent means traveling alone but i really don't think so i for me my mom is someone who i confide in who i you know it needs someone on those bad days when you know things don't work out so um i feel like you know you sh- it's it's good to have someone whether it's a family member or a coach or a friend traveling with you on tour it's important because after that bad loss you really want you really need someone to talk to you know other than that i just um uh, you know whatever it is i i do i try to snap out of it by keeping my mind off of the bad loss i'll probably go to the mall and shop <laughs> if nothing else but yeah that's my way of dealing with the loss like everybody has different ways of coping with a bad loss so that's what i do whom do you like inspire as in such of like you said your mom and trainers and sort of but apart from them like a person who was playing for tennis like some sportsman person or sort of also i always uh, uh grew up grew up looking up to maria sharapova right. because um you know because for one her never say die attitude she never gives up on court and a style of playing it's aggressive and um that's a style of playing that even i enjoy uh, so her, her game style also um you know her, 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 her like she doesn't give up at all like she could be match point down but she fights through it so growing up i think she's been an inspiration she's been i've been lucky to have had met have met her i've interacted with her at the slam So I think yes, she's been my role model growing up. So there might be a moment that you have thought, "Yeah, I'm winning this match," and you did not win. So you had some sort of fear, or you were uh, not alone to when you won that match, sort of some sort of fear related to sort of that. Oh, many times it's happened that I've uh, many times it's happened that I've been match point up and lost that match, and many times it's been that I've been match point down and won some won that match. That's tennis, you know. Mm-hmm. The, it's it's uncertain it's the uncertainty of it it's like nothing is ever certain um you know like azarenka says you all it's never over till the, till you play that last point till, so um I, i i i don't think i have fear i don't have any fear when i'm playing i my game style is to go for it whether i'm match point up or match point down i go for my shots i take my risks so if it works out fine if it doesn't work out it's it's like it hurts it really hurts but um you know that's just how i play um many times it's happened that i've been match point up or i've been in a winning situation and i've lost that match it's hard, it's very very difficult to snap out of um i won't say that you know i i forget about it it's not something you can let go of in a day or two it takes time but um yeah as i said you know this Uh, uh with time with experience uh, you learn to become thick skin you learn it it it's very important i feel that it it hurts you know these losses hurt so that next time when you come back into a match you know you learn from those bad losses you try not make the same mistake again you know unless you don't unless it doesn't hurt you you'll be complacent you'll be okay with losing ഡിസ്ക്രിമിനേറ്റഡ്മൻ ഡിസ്ക്രിമിനേറ്റ് 
Okay. Did you upskill yourself? Did you upskill yourself during during the pandemic? Did you learn anything new? Um. Yeah, I did. I learned. I learned many new things. To be honest, I learned how to cook. Um. There were. Uh, I think with. Um, in a way, it was a blessing because. Uh, I wouldn't prob. I wouldn't have probably learned it if it were if it weren't for the pandemic. There really wasn't any time to learn how to cook. I learned how to bake. Um. So. I can cook Mughlai chicken. I can cook Chinese. I've I've learned quite a few dishes in Chinese. Uh, Chinese and um, basic egg curry, dal dal makhani. I'm learning now. <laughs> yeah, quite a few things, I guess. So, uh, if uh, look, I'm a information security analyst at a company, and I've been working for three four years now. So. If uh, from my childhood I had a dream to become a Formula Tar Auto Tar racer, so did you had some dream sort of not a tennis player, other than that if you were to become something, what would you like to become? See, I have started playing tennis since I was four. Okay, so okay. four is like the earliest I think a person can think and fathom about what they want to be. So ever since, I mean, I played a lot of other sports. But ever since I stepped onto the tennis court, that was it. I don't want. I didn't want to be anything else. I just wanted to be a tennis. I wanted to be a professional tennis player. That back then, I had made up my mind. Until today, that's just, that's all I want to be. There's really there's no plan B. There's nothing else I want to be. All right. Any place you would like to go? I mean, as in you have traveled a lot, I suppose. And anywhere specific you would like to go somewhere. Oh my God! There are a lot of places I've been to, but there are a lot of places I still have to go to. Um, oh, this is there are, I have many places on my list. Yeah, how do I give you this one? Um, it may be two or maybe three, but the best one would be. I actually want to see more of India. You know, I feel I I've, I've not been to. to Too many. There's so many places in India. So many stunning places like up north, northeast, northeast. I've hardly explored. Sikkim, the Seven Sisters. Um, I really want to go to Kashmir. Though I'm really scared to go. But um, why look anywhere else when you know you can look look at your own country? I mean, India is so beautiful. Maybe so much to explore, so much to see in your own country. So yeah, I really want to do. Uh, I really want to explore every corner of India. Like that's on my list. That's on my bucket list. So, what? So, what plans for the next few years? Are you planning to travel or take a competitive tennis? Oh, I'm I'm full on now. Um, see, I just I just finished with my graduation. So now you know I have. I mean, I'm more or less. Like I'm, I finished completing my graduation. I can like focus entirely on my tennis, and um, that's the plan. You know, I'm enjoying the sport so far, and I hope to continue enjoying it for as long as I can. So um, definitely, all my time, everything. Uh, I just hope the situation with this pandemic gets better. That's all. Everything gets back to normal as soon as possible, and then you know I can get back to. Traveling and um, I really miss that life, being on the road, uh, being in a new place and a new country every other week. I really miss it. I can't do it right now with uh, the whole Corona situation. But I hope things get better. Hope everything opens up and you know I can do what I love the most. Okay. So. 
anybody who wants to take up ten minutes. Ha, right now. One minute, one minute. Voice is cracking. What? Anyone who wants to take up tennis right now, what what advice you have for him or her? See, I told you, I told you, I'm no one to give any advice. <laughs> but uh, but see, I feel like the most important thing, not just in tennis but in any sport, is to have is to be passionate about it and to be fairly good at it. You know, you don't have to be the best at it, but you can be good at it. And I feel it's that passion which will drive you to being the best you can be. Even if you want to play competitive, the first step you can't just directly start competing. The first, very first step, I feel, and something that should stay with you throughout your sports career is the passion for it. You know, if you enjoy it, only then can you succeed. At least that's what I feel. Right. during this time. And uh, you've taken time for us, so I would like to thank you again. I okay. Think, uh, the last parting question would be: What do you think about a uh, initiative like this? What What is your opinion or thought about an initiative like this, wherein you can possibly achieve can you, a conversation? I can't hear you. Can you hear what 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 he's saying? His voice is a bit buffering now. No, I can understand yeah. parts and bits, but. So, so I was asking you what, what you have to say about French Talk. Oh, I think it's a fabulous platform. I think what you're doing is fabulous. Um, you know, you're bringing in new people. Um, you know, who are um, succeeding in different fields to talk about their experiences, talk about their journey. You know, it's a, it, it's insightful, and I hope for uh, you know. At least uh, we sports people can encourage more people to, you know, take the sport. So I feel it. Uh, our country really needs it. So what do you think is lacking in terms of infrastructure or help and support <laughs> in the country? Is that similar to what you think? What do you think is lacking here? Kerala, both both your voices are cracking now. Oh God! No, I'm. What What do you think? What What do you feel is lacking? Oh, what is lacking? Where? In the infrastructure of something, he's asking. Oh yeah, so I feel um, you know, we as we have to sometimes be initially. It's very um tough for us. Especially, I'm talking about tennis because I'm a tennis player. Because we do not get full financial support, you know, today uh, from, say, the government or we or from even the sporting authorities. Like I see a lot of uh, players from these other countries. In fact, uh, we Indians were higher than at least I was higher than than so many other girls when I competed at the Grand Slams. But they had like four coaches with them. Completely sponsored by Nike, uh, you know everything taken care of. Whereas we are on our own, we are fending for ourselves. It's not just me. I think I'm speaking on behalf of all uh, as tennis players. Um, so that that's one aspect I feel where we, I wouldn't say yeah, we we could get better at you know. Um, but again, as I said, sports is so neglected in our country. You know, unless people start, I think once people start realizing, are aware of you know the benefits and the importance of it. You know that could really boost everything, infrastructure, the whole outlook towards the sport. One of my friend is a GM. Uh, do you play chess or something? Do you play chess? 
or uh, related to staff do you know sort of things i i play ha huh, i play chess yeah so one of my friend is a gm so he to his story over supporting of the government or the india government was not good but the tatas are supporting chess players a lot uh, that's what he thinks and he has suggested me as well so i think matlab it's like uh, it's not that the indian government is not taking initiative sort of but it's like how far would it divide itself sort of are you but that is in chess na and tennis it's not like that tennis is that uh, it's like tennis. the sports part so uh, the amount i think it's like uh, now so recently an event happened uh, of chess tournament so the prizes the first prizes are quite high bit so different countries contribute together and sort of uh like i'm not telling that tennis is not is uh, might be related or not but this is about chess what i have heard from my friends and colleagues okay no i yeah see there are some sports that um i wouldn't like badminton for that as per, for that thing today our country is producing so many top level badminton players um they have great infrastructure that uh, you know a sort of like a national academy where all the top uh, athletes train under one week and um, you know that really benefits and they going they getting such uh, i mean they, they they all practice together they do they train together and that that's really showing on the world stage i think each and every one of them is performing something like that in tennis would be great you know we don't have that in our sport also people who sponsor they are hard to come by tennis or no one willing to i mean i i, I don't know i think they are really hard at least in bombay you know it's a struggle Yeah. No, it's like uh, the, there is no much much promotion over here. So if you see in Mumbai, in Mumbai right now, so in it's like the, the cricket part is very well promoted by every each and every individual because they're getting money from it, the flow of it. And then comes the chess part. The chess is also well promoted over here. Like there are more than many users right now. So and I don't think tennis is much well promoted or badminton or you may say karate is also well promoted. So that might be an issue. That there are no much promotions over here in Mumbai or in any other part of the India, sort of. Because uh, outside you see that tennis is promoted by a lot of companies and they make a huge profit. So that might be a reason, I think, if the promotion is somewhere lacking. Tennis definitely in our country is not as big as cricket. I don't think any sport is as big as cricket. It is like a religion. Everybody is just if there is any sport they want to look at, it's it's cricket. The other sports are not okay, and as you said, maybe now chess is on the rise. Yeah. But tennis, for that aspect, isn't like especially in my, in I'm I'm speaking about Bombay. We are pretty much on our own. At least I've been on my own financially. Even though I played slam, even though I played for India, um, yeah. As I said, there are sponsors are hard to come by. you can i uh, yeah, that's what i like right. the promotion in the part it is not well promoted i think yeah. so some initiative should be taken from the existing tennis players or sort of thing uh, you have to think for the upcoming generation and sort of thing maybe that's the case so well, what is your opinion about the premier league IPL. Yeah, IPL. I know. Right. 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 IPL and what? They experimented similarly in tennis. What's yes, I played it. I played it. I, I was on. Uh, I was on the team. I was on Gujarat Panthers. Um, it was a lot of fun. Um, for one, I got we we were uh on the same team as Som Dev Dev Varman. And at the, I was in the same team as him, and um, he was 66 in the world in singles in in his world ranking in the men. So he was India's highest, um, high high. I think he was the most highly ranked uh, men singles player. So it's great. It was great to be on uh, the same team as him. 
um, you know, to get insight from him, uh, to share the quote with him. And um, I think it was a great, it was a great uh, initiative. It was really, really a lot of fun. Um, I I think that's a good uh, progressive step they've taken. And um, well, I think it's gonna take. I think that the, I think that it's gonna happen next year too. The thinking of so I think it was a success. It was really a success. They managed to open a lot of people, a lot of sponsors for it. Um, I guess it was a good way of tennis being recognized. Um, I think they managed to do that to quite an extent. And I was happy to be, you know, uh, a part of it. Okay, who are some of the players you must watch out for right now? In the Indian circuit. Yeah. Um, I think there are few. <laughs> I think there are few um uh, men's tennis players are doing really well on the circuit. I think um. There are two or three of them who are in the top who are in the top hundred right now, and um, we still have a long way to go. I feel, you know, just being top two hundred, being top hundred. Yes, it's fabulous. It's a fabulous feat. But um, yes, we definitely uh, have a lot of work to do if we want to win a Grand Slam. But as I said, any everything is possible. Anything and everything is possible if you have the will to do it. Um, I just hope, as you you know, that tennis as a sport gains more recognition. That would really, you know, be a boost to all our players who are trying to you know, push and make it big. The sport. Another question, Mahima. No, nothing. Man. There's no question in sort of this in all. <laughs> I think we've uh, reached 15 minutes on this, so let's call it a day. Okay. Yeah, and, um, it was fun. I had a lot of fun. So thank you, Nita, for joining in and uh, just guiding us through your life journey and uh, about how you could take life in general, about how we should face failures and reject them. How you should come out, maybe go out and stop. That is a good way to build it up. So, thank you for joining us today. Have a very good night. Thank you for uh, giving me this opportunity to you know, speak about my journey. And I had fun being on. I had fun being on Kenny Stocks. Bye. Bye. Bye.